Hello and welcome. And today we'll be exploring the GPT-4 Vision API. Yesterday in the dev conference, OpenAI announced the GPT-4 Vision API, and this is a game changer. So we'll see how you can use it in your projects and use the vision capabilities of GPT-4. So we will first load the required libraries. Uh, you need to have a OpenAI account and the uh, secret key already there and also have some kind of billing enabled because it's cost per token. I already have that set up. Uh, let me know if you want to want me to go over how to do that and I'll uh, do that for you. Uh, but for now I have it, obviously I'm not you know, uh, exposing my API key because then you guys can bankrupt me if you want. So uh, also you can either pass the image URL or pass the image as an encoded image. I am choosing to pass it as an encoded image as a base 64 encoded image. So uh, I load in the image and this image is really simple. This image uh, of a school report card, English, math, science, and history. And uh, to use the API, you have to structure it in this way. You have the headers and the header has the API key and then the payload. The payload has your messages. So right now this is straight out of uh, OpenAI uh, guideline on how to use the vision API. So you have to specify the model, the model GPT-4 vision preview and the messages in it. And max tokens is the max return tokens allowed. So right now it's I think 4096, but I'm keeping it to 500 because it's gonna cost, uh, the cost is according to the tokens that it processes and also the tokens it returns. So the more the tokens, you add it here, the more uh, costly it will be. And the response is just request.post and uh, the JSON is the payload here. Now, let's use the vanilla, uh, this vanilla framework, which OpenAI has already given us and see what kind of uh, results does, see, does it return. So we have the text. So uh, you have the role user, the content contains the a textual content and an image content and the text is what's in this image and let's see what does it return so uh so given this image it returns okay uh, let me just uh, display it here next to the image so you know yeah the image was a drawing of a school report card with grades for different subjects it has the following subjects in grade listed english a plus uh math b minus Science B plus, History C plus. Uh, the drawing is styled to look like a crumpled piece of paper. Uh, this is um, the model, you know, doing a bit of blemish, maybe because of these uh, dashes, it thinks that it's a crumpled piece of paper. And the font mimics handwriting, which is true. The word school report card at the top of the paper. So even it has spatial understanding of the image. But you can do much more than this with the correct prompt. You can also add, it doesn't say in the API documentation, but you can add a system prompt as well. The system prompt tells the uh, language model how it should behave. So I already have a system prompt ready. It says uh, your system uh, that always extracts the information from an image in a JSON format. So mm -hmm. it's very simple to add it. You just take your system prompt and then in the messages queue only, you add it before your uh, uh, user and uh, just do it here. And let's just uh, indent it a bit so it looks pretty. So I have the role content, your system that always, and then the role user, which is what's in this image. And let's see what changes. So if we see the response now, voila, it's in a JSON format. Description, it says description, image of a cartoon style illustration of a score report card, content, title score report card, and subjects, subject English, grade A plus subject math, grade B minus subject science, grade B plus subject history, grade C plus. It also adds additional load, the report card. So it takes this same output that was before, and now it returns it in a structured format. Now the use cases for this is you know, immense and with the correct prompt, you can extract anything out of it. So let's try to extract only the subject and the grade, the subject and the grade and ignore the rest of it. No embellishments by OpenAI, we just want the subject and the grade. 
So I already have a user prompt ready for it. And let's try if it can do that in this manner. So let me just replace this, uh, uh, this particular bit. And what I want it to do is extract the grades from this image in a structured format, only return the output. And it already knows from the system prompt that it should return a JSON output. So let's see what does this return. And here, yeah, see, it follows my instruction exactly at what I want to. And from this image itself, it has extracted all the important bits of information. It extracted the subject and the grade subject and the grade. And uh, I could even uh, show this as a pandas data frame because it is already in the format. So all I need to do is copy these lines and you know and as you can see this is already in a st uh, structured format which I can use anywhere in the analysis so this is how you can use the vision API this is the completion chat completion API of the vision so this is how you can use the endpoint and be creative with whatever you can you want to build with GPT-4 vision I think that with the API being available for developers the possibilities are endless all right thanks for watching and let me know in the comments if you want some uh want me to build some tool using this vision api all right thanks for watching do like and subscribe